Hi everyone, it's uh, Mark from Compressor House. Today we will be fitting a sleeper kit, so we're just going to build one up. Uh, we've got a kit on the table just here, which is how you will receive it when you order a part from us. We'll just have a quick look at that and what you'll receive. So you should receive your supercharger already fitted with the manifold and carburetor fitted. You'll have a T-tube, some silicon hoses, a filter king. Um, you'll have a bag which will contain some spare jets. Um, and an accelerator cable and some other little ancillaries. You'll have a bolt pack and a bracket and a few gaskets. Today, I just wanna go through what you need to do. So you wanna get your engine into this condition. So you wanna strip your fuel pump off. You don't need that. You want to take your distributor out the way, obviously your carburetor and your old manifold, all of that can go. The only thing that you really need to leave on and you don't need to remove it is your manifold uh, on this side of the engine you can actually leave your plug leads on and just fold them around your alternator like that you actually don't need to remove them but as long as it's in that sort of condition um, you're, you're pretty much good to go what you can see on here of course just for the sake of saving a little bit of time is we fitted the mst kit already so we've got the bottom pulley, um, the adjuster on, and the pulley for the alternator. And if you look down here, you can see how you fit the idler pulley. It's just on the first two studs of the alternator uh, bracket. We've also fitted the filter king. Now these are really good filters, but really important for this, this kit. And on this test rig, we have one fitted here. So as a standard, you'll receive the filter king. And this is the optional extra of a fuel pressure gauge. And with that pressure gauge, you'll get um, the clips and all the hoses uh, that you need to be able to fit it to your, your car or van. Uh, first job really is to just fit this, this gasket. So you notice that radius there. Um, so just simply put that over your studs. That's all you need to do there. And the next thing we're going to do is fit the silicon hoses. So for the silicon hoses in your kit, you'll see uh, three different sizes. There's a 40 mil, a 50 mil, and a 60 mil. So for this, you want to fit the, the 50 mil hose. So just take a measurement of it before you fit it. We're just going to fit it into the end of your, your manifold and ideally when you fit your clips you want your clips to be at the bottom of the pipe like this so just simply put that on there and make sure it's right butt up against the stop here so now we're going to fit the t-tube we've got the 60 mil hose on here uh, we've got the retaining clamps on so just make sure that the screws the screws there are, are facing you just simply push this behind the alternator and put it into the silicon hose here and on this side you want to make sure that you've got your manifold ready you've got new gaskets and you've checked all that and cleaned all of your gasket if if, uh, if you need to but ideally if you're taking it off put fresh gaskets on fit your silicon hose which is a 40 mil hose and again put your retainers at the bottom and to fit this Put your, lift your hose, thread it over your silicon, uh, into your silicon hose here, and then just simply just drop it down onto the engine. So now what we want to do is just fit your retaining nuts, put your washers on, just by hand for now, is the key with this is to keep everything loose and not tighten anything up until you come to the end when it's all fully assembled. There we go. So that you should be able to move this T-tube in this direction and in this direction. Just helps you with the method of assembly. Okay, so now we want to come to the supercharger itself. So you've received your supercharger like this and what we want to do now is fit 
uh, the bracket. So you'll notice that your bracket comes with a spacer fitted. So just take the um, tie wrap off. There we go. And we want to fit a bracket. So if you lift your supercharger up like this, you want to put one of your 13 millimeter bolts through the bracket and then fit your spacer. But keep the end of the spacer flush with the end of the bolt. And then fit the bolt. And then you'll want to fit the one on the front. There we go. And then once you've got those in, just nip them up. Again, you don't need to tighten them up fully because you'll need to move the supercharger soon. Anyway, so now we've got a full assembly. You've got your carburetor and thing on there, your bracket, you've already put your gasket on. Key point here when lifting this on is to make sure that this um, brace bar at the rear of the supercharger is in the up position. So when you lift it onto the engine, it's in the right place. Make sure that your, your, your pulley is sort of locked up in the up position. You don't want that loose because it will get in your way. So just lock it out of the way and then just simply put your um, supercharger bracket onto the studs. And then you want to put one of your 10 millimeter nuts through the brace bar. And if you come around this side here, you'll be able to see what we're doing. We will be fitting this screw into your fan housing. But again, keep it loose. Now what we wanna do is fit the belt. So once you've got that fitted, there's one check that you need to do, which is to just come down around this side of the engine and look directly in line with the pulleys, making sure that, you know, just put some pressure on here so that you've got the flat plate of the base of the bracket on the engine. The pulleys, you need, they need to be aligned. Now, depending on what engine type you've got, it may mean that you need, may need to move the spacer that we fitted to the bracket earlier to the other side of the engine if you see a misalignment. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fit the belt. So we've got the idler pulley in up, up here locked locks up. So let's just move that out of the way. And what you've got in your kit is a 4PK1125 belt. So you just simply put that belt over here. Thread it over your idler pulley like that. And now we just want to fit the screw or the top, the, 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 the nuts that hold the supercharger bracket itself in place. So what I'm doing here is I'm just fitting some washers. These nuts on. Just wind them down by hand for now. Okay, there we go. Right, one thing you'll notice on your base of your bracket is this pipe and it's a breather pipe. Um, and this just allows um, pressure from your engine casing to be released because you'll need this when you're running a supercharger if you've purchased the uh, breather kit. Um, and in terms of breather kit, you really want to probably fit that first as well before you start putting all of this together. Um, but one of the hoses from your breather kit will attach onto this, okay? So now it's time to fit uh, the manifold or the outpipe. So you'll have one of these 
this is if you've opted to buy the kit with uh, the two-piece. We do another version that has now uh, a one-piece, what we call um, a boost pipe, uh, but we'll share that with you on another video. So you want to fit your, your gaskets, make sure you get it the right way around because you can fit it wrong. One of the bolts through there and then put your the end of the pipe into your silicon hose align your holes and then just loosely fit them remember you can move this pipe if you need to because everything is loose one bolt which is just at the back which is a little awkward to do but if you just carefully maneuver the pipe around to get the bolt going just a couple of threads before you start that will help there we go right so now I want to drive those home. I just want to, again, I don't want to tighten them up fully. I just want to keep it enough so that I can move, maneuver the, the pipe. So we've got pretty much everything there that we need uh, assembled onto the engine. So now it's just a matter of tightening everything down. So first of all, we're going to start with the the nut at the back of the fan case which is holding your brace bar tighten that one up first I want you to lift the supercharger upwards and tighten the bolt on the back of the supercharger so that keeps it in the right position we now want to tighten up the, the nuts that are holding the supercharger onto the engine. So try and tighten them down equally. There we go, that's done. And you've also got these two bolts here, of course, which we need to tighten up, but we'll come back to those in a second. Right. Next part is this pipe here. There's a little bit of movement left to right, up and down. So what you want to do is just align the T-tube and the and this pipe here so that if you look in this direction, it's not wonky, but it's actually, you know, nice and square. So start to tighten these first two hoses up those clamps, tighten that up, now tighten your manifold up, there we go, don't over tighten those, of course, because you don't want to snap your studs, especially if you've got old cylinder heads. Okay, now you can tighten the T tube up by tightening your other hose clamps. So you've got one this side of the engine and one on the other. Maybe one. Two. 
and just check all your clamps make sure that they're all all fully tightened at this stage okay so now it's time to tighten this up it's kind of hold it's held itself in place because you know we've assembled it loose so start to tighten up your bolts to your supercharger but do them diagonally Again, it can be a little bit awkward to get at. Screw the video up there if I can. Okay, so that's tightened up. Now it's time to tighten up the belt. So I'm using just a shaft of a small hammer just to put at the back there of the idler pulley, behind the back of the crank pulley, just to lift that up before you tighten up your uh, retaining nut and you want to try and make sure you've got the correct tension so you should be able to turn and twist the belt uh 90 well near enough 90 degrees you are actually looking for about 45 degrees um but you want around about that sort of tension hopefully you can kind of gauge that so now we're going to fit the air filter so you've got this in your kit comb filter simply fit that over there turn it up now you want to refer to our compressor house channel on youtube um, we've got some videos on how to set up the carb get to know the carburetor know all of the adjustments now when you receive your kit it would have all been preset so we would have had it actually physically running on this rig uh, like you'll see with this one. Um, so all the adjustments have been made. Uh, just want to make reference to this. So this is called a fuel enricher uh, and this is used to help start your engine. It's not a choke. It shouldn't be used as a choke. So once you've actually got this locked up in position, started your engine, then you want to drop it off. Um, in there. Okay, and now it's time to fit the distributor back in the engine. Um, so obviously nothing should have moved. Your timing shouldn't have changed. Um, but again, uh, if you refer to our YouTube channel, there's a video on there on how to check that all your valve timing is correct, all your ignition timing is correct. So when you come to fit this and get this started, you shouldn't have any problems. It's a 17 minute video, but uh, it's, it's worth a watch. So drop your distributor in, back into your engine. There we go. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna tighten up the clamp nut. I've actually marked this distributor because we've already uh, timed this engine. Uh, you can see those two white marks there. So earlier on we had your HT leads that we put around the alternator. You can pull those back around here now so they're not in your way. And actually the reason why you actually do that is so that you don't get them trapped underneath the T-tube when it comes to fit the T-tube. So that's just a little bit of a tip there. Okay, now I've marked these up. So these are one through to four. I'm gonna fit the distributor. So this is a 009 distributor. So I know that this here is number one. Clip that up. And now I want to fit HT lead number two and HT lead number one. Now I want to put my coil lead on. This is distributor is running 
an electronic ignition. So you just simply got a black and a red wire. So black to negative. And we've got red to positive. Just make sure I've got that in the right position. And I now just need to fit number three and four. So three and four. Next part is putting your fuel pipe on. Now what I like to do with this is a little bit of grease and just put a little bit of grease around that uh, pipe there. Get your hose and fit that over here. And we'll just tighten that up now. Okay, so what have we got now? So we've got a fully assembled supercharger kit. We've checked that all of the nuts and bolts are, are tight. In fact, the one that we have missed is this one here. And let's just make sure that we tighten this one up. There's one at the back as well. You wanna to get to that one and tighten that up. And we should be ready to start now. So we've got the distributor on, all the manifolds are tightened up, um, we've got uh, the fuel pipe on, we've got a fuel pressure regulator fitted, so let's have a look what this looks like. So I'm going to turn the ignition on, turning the fuel pump on, and you want to take a note of this. Now when you receive it, uh, we would have set your fuel pressure regulator filter bowl to around about two to three psi but later on actually when you've got it set up on your car you want to reduce that pressure to one psi so again there is another video on youtube on how to set up your fuel pressure correctly so please refer to that video so we should be good to start so fuel enricher on we've primed the the, the carburetor Give it a couple of squirts of fuel to get fuel through and then we should be good to start. Once you've done that first initial start up just run it for a few seconds and give everything a check just make sure that you haven't got any signs of any fuel leaking or anything from your carburetor and you only will literally want to run it for a, a like I say a few seconds uh, just a quick general check over make sure everything's good here and that your, your alignment of your pulleys is good but also in your kit you would have received uh, another tube which is an overflow tube which fits at the back of the carburetor so you want to put this on so thread it over here and then up onto the back of the carburetor there we go move this out of the way and you can see and fit that into there it's important that you fit this Thread it through your tinware and then if you refer to your instruction manual which you would have received you'll know that there's a that we drilled a hole in the stone guard at the bottom here with a, a grommet so that it fixes that so if there's any ever any fuel leakage uh, or an overflow of fuel it won't run onto your engine, it will run down the pipe or onto the floor below the engine. But again, refer to the video in terms of setting up your fuel pressure because we mentioned that a few times and we talked you through the importance of setting that up correctly. 
So now I'm, I'm pretty confident with that. So we're going to start it again and we'll do some more checks. So fuel enricher on. So that run uh, all well. Um, so here you've got your idle mixture screw, so uh, you can pull that out, but again, that would have already been set by us before you receive your kit. And just at the base of this uh, pulley here, uh, your accelerator pulley, you've got uh, an idle adjustment screw. So uh, there we go. Pretty successful startup for that kit. Um, we'll do some more tests before we actually send it out to a customer, but um, that one is ready to go. So hopefully that, that's been a useful video for you to follow uh, uh, and to see how easy it is to actually fit it. And if you look in terms of the time it's taken us, uh, it's probably only took us around about 20 minutes to do that.